All right, I'm in Colville, Utah. Colville, Utah is about halfway between Evanston, Wyoming and Salt Lake City. Uh, probably about 20 miles um, east, northeast of uh, Park City. And I've got this awesome tour for you today. I think we're just gonna start right here at this beautiful uh, Summit County Courthouse building. And uh, I'm gonna take you around the building, I'm gonna take you inside, and then I'm gonna take you uh, around town and down Main Street. Look at this beautiful building. I think the storyline on it is that it was built in 1904 or 1905. But it's got these windows peeking up out of the ground, these arches all around it. And just built like a tank. This is an interesting stone right here, the way that it's wearing. Uh, makes you wonder if that's new. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just go around it real quick. You got another little arch sticking out of the ground here. It's beautiful uh, work. On this baby. And uh, yeah, these arches, they're huge. I would say uh, somewhere around 12 feet to the top of this arch right here. And it's got these same things that um, Stuff Beagle was talking about on his last show. What are these uh, four circular? Uh, deals. I'm not really sure what they are either. If anybody knows, let us know. <laughs> You've got a checkerboard uh, stonework there. That's interesting. And let's take a look at the very top and just see what we see up there. You got a pyramid <laughs> and a weather vane up there. But was it originally uh, maybe something else? Let's keep going here. So, awesome thing is down in the basement, we're gonna be able to go down in the basement in this building, check it out because it is a museum and they've got some pretty awesome uh, photographs down there that we're gonna be able to see a lot of the old photographs of Colville. And you go down to get to this level and um, so you still, um, I guess that puts you on ground level uh, in the basement. And you know, the question I have and what I'm looking for in there is if, if there is another level below this level right here, and I believe that there is. Um, so let's go around the other side real quick. I wanna show you a little interesting thing I saw hidden behind uh, couple uh, mm, sheet metal vents on the other side. Makes me wonder if this is original right here, the way that this has been shaved off, is if maybe there was some something more on there and that's our work right there. Because look how smooth the rest of it is. Anyway, something to think about maybe. Let me show you the plaque on this. It was 1905. Okay. And we've got another window sticking out of the ground here. And we're gonna be able to go down in there, so that's awesome. Let's uh, keep going here. I've got another matching window on this side. And uh, you go down to get to this level. <laughs> and some more windows here. And I wanted to take you back here and show you this little area right here. So this is all new over here, but I just popped that back right there. And look, they have a blocked in window right there. 
filled in with cinder block hiding behind this old vent like maybe that was what was uh, there at one time was a vent so uh, let's go inside and check it out um, you're gonna we're gonna be able to see some photographs of a LDS tabernacle that was torn down in the 70s that is gonna blow your mind so, uh, so let's just go up there real quick first. And you can see the stairs is they've saved maybe some of the so this is a painting of the tabernacle that was here until the 70s. <laughs> just beautiful. And uh, then we've got this old uh, sketch of a wood building. <laughs> and those windows look pretty low down there. But that was interesting, kind of had a shack on the side there. And here's an older photo of the building that we're in right here. And Interesting. And here's a new one, and I swear this guy with the tie right there, center frame, has is is doing the hidden hand. I don't know. <laughs> and look at this uh, top. So the top is a little different than uh, what we're seeing out there now. You see that? Not the weather vane. It doesn't look like. And uh, thought I saw one more uh, something up here I wanted to show you. Tabernacle. That one, not that good. And then look at this right here. Okay, so here's an old brick home they're claiming. But does this door look like it should be where it's at? Or does it look like right above it that they tore out an arch? One of these arches. And that this maybe was the upper level. Just very interesting. Let's see if there's something over here. I can't remember. Okay, this is uh, when uh, both Continental Railroad uh, groups met here in uh, Utah. Interesting. We're just going to check the museum out. And uh, let's see here. One thing about the Utahns is they like to pack a bunch of people in front of their buildings when they take these old pictures so that you can't see much. I think this building is still standing, so we're going to be able to check it out later. And uh, like this whole place is just kind of empty. But look at this. I wonder if the stairs went down right here at one time. Just, just a thought. Um, <laughs> they've got this exterior wall right here. And they have a hole in there going to that room that we were just in. Wish I had some lights in here. There we go. So let's see if we see anything in there. So interesting. You do have brick over on this side. So kind of weird. And they got a bunch of old pictures here. Here's a building that probably doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it's got those, got to walk up to the upper level and got windows down below. 
very interesting. Right below the other windows, it looks like. They've just got all kinds of old stuff throughout here. So let's take a look at this picture right here. That's that same building that we were looking at just a second ago. Very interesting. Here's another one. It makes me wonder if these, uh, you know, down below the, the main level windows, you see this little area there. It just makes you wonder. What's that all about? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Just, uh, just videoing some of this awesome history here. Neat. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Is this is torn down in the 70s, unfortunately. Oh, it just kidding. breaks your heart, right? Yeah. And why would they tear that down? I mean, of all, you know, it just makes you mad that they're tearing down all these old, beautiful buildings and leaving us with these ugly buildings. No, they're not. They want us to live in the, a box, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Wow. Um, let's check this building out. It looks like we got to know what we're looking at here. Lighting down here is kind of decent for videoing, it looks like. I did see some other... Awesome stuff right over here, I thought. No, not the stairs. There's yeah, so not seeing it looks like you can see all right, I guess. Yeah, these are just old homes it looks like. That one looks kind of funny to me. <laughs> um, let's see here. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the things I wanted to show you. Now look at those patches on the side of that house. That's interesting. 1929. That one's all sided. It's got a little arch back there in the middle of nowhere. Got little stairs, it looks like it's going down the side of this house building. Now look at this house. Come on. That's what I'm talking about is um, below the, you know, these windows go down to the basement right here. That looks like a mud flood building to me. Let's see what this is. What is that? Is that a patch? And here's some more of those windows. It looks like they might have went down to the basement, down the bottom of there. Look how tall the top is compared to the bottom. It just doesn't look right. I don't think you're ever gonna build it that way. And okay, so I'm gonna take you outside now. All right, so I've just come outside the courthouse. I'm just gonna show you a few homes and then take you down to Main Street. But you can see on this bungalow right here, <laughs> just another weird home turned into a bungalow. You can see that they put in a new foundation and it kind of diagonals, goes out, kind of flares out at the bottom. Definitely you can get rid of the, the windows that you didn't want with that uh, flare. But you can see that there's a window right directly below this uh, window here. And you know, the question is, is was this house taller and did they um, facade over in a, a pre-existing brick structure with this new brick and then uh, also put a new foundation around it I think I think that that's a, a possibility there got a little short stubby little building with a, a foundation that comes out from it as well right behind it here so uh, I'm just gonna take you uh, 
around the other side of the courthouse. And uh, one thing that I did notice about the courthouse, which is just weird, is the plaque says 1904. And, uh, but the actual top up there says 1903. So just a discrepancy. I think that's weird. It's like, get your dates straight, right? So uh, right across from, <clears throat> right across from the church, there's this LDS church over here. And it's also got the same symbology on it. And I, I don't believe that this church is old, but I do find it very strange that it's got those, you know, four round dills, kind of like a four leaf clover, um, just like they have over here on this building. Uh, what's that about? It's just very strange. And, um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you uh, over here and show you this building right here. Um, you know, a lot of these buildings just look kind of like they're sitting in the ground. And even the church has, you know, some vents coming out of the basement there. But uh, this old building. You know, is this a facaded building? I'm not sure, but it's got you know, the ground level windows there. And uh, not really sure. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I've just come right around the corner from the courthouse into this little residential area here. I want to show you a uh, few homes here and then I'll take you down to Main Street but you can see that um, that foundation comes out it looks like a facade brick that's been put around a pre-existing building here and you know are we looking at the original two-story or the second story on this building very interesting then right next to it we've got one of these gingerbread homes and it's got the funny foundation with the funny windows and there's just no question that they they uh, put brick around a pre-existing structure here. And this is, you know, uh, who's really going to do this? You got your door and then you've got another door right next to it. Like, okay. And you got these arches that are in that shape right there, which is very common for these gingerbread homes. And you, you've got your little tiny windows sticking out of your um, basement here that are pretty much directly below these other windows and uh, you know were there more windows in here and was this the original second level that's been turned into the main level and you have a little coal chute on the side right next to the stairs right there See that? and so then right behind the courthouse well, here's here's another little funny looking home a little short it kind of looks like a bungalow but who knows what it is it's got siding all over it this looks like it was built out of some of the same stone as the courthouse but i just wanted to uh to see what we see here so the foundation looks like it's a facade you can see that right below the the line of stone there, all of a sudden it goes into garbage stone. <laughs> Is that the, really the way that you're gonna build that? And then it's got these big arches, these beautiful stone arches on it. Beautiful chimney up there. And uh, normally you see these arches on the second story of a building like that, you know? So it's got four actually, very interesting. And let's look down the side of it and see if we see anything. So down this side, they've got all squared off uh, windows. And they got a little shack on the back, so who knows. Got a little tiny stubby home here. But right across from here, you have the library. 
and the health department. So let's check this building out, see what we see. Um, it looks to me like there's a good possibility that this is a facade over a pre-existing building right here. And I talked to one of the residents earlier and asked him about this building. And he's like, oh no, this is the original brick on this building. So let's uh, see if we can see any evidence that it's not. This looks like something that they would have uh, plastered over if they wanted to make it look like stone with that facade. But you have a new foundation probably around this building. And uh, a little vent right there venting the basement. And I uh, really like the brickwork up top. And it makes you wonder, uh, and here we are, here's, here's a basement window right down in there. And it's got an arch that looks like it's been, that it used to just be a huge arch that they put this woodwork around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also it looks like we you know we come up a good three or four feet from the sidewalk to get to this little area here we've got another window on this side and uh, you got the library on this side you have a vent uh, venting the basement all the way up here interesting but you can see that um, we haven't been able to see a place where we can look in there and see if this brick is a facade or not yet. So let's keep going here. And Interesting. They have a lift here for wheelchairs, it looks like. <laughs> and it has a huge, thick stack here. And interesting, you know, it looks like they made it where they just went right around this thing with another level of brick, uh, possibly. Let's uh, take a look at this. So it rained last night. Man, I do not see, other than the fact of how thick that goes in. I mean, just look how thick that goes in. That goes in um, about 10 inches. And, you know, here's your level of brick. So it definitely could be another three or four levels of brick behind there. Based on that, right here you can kind of see how thick that wall goes in there. See that? So you can see one level of brick there and then right there center screen is where it cuts off, right, right above the bottle. You can see the black line. I mean, definitely looks like it's a facade over a pre-existing structure. Huh. Something. Unfortunately, they've tightened this thing up really, really well. So you got a blocked-in window here. Looks like they've added this in. They have put some stairs down to the basement. They've got a vent here, venting the basement. They've got a ground-level window here with a vent in it. It's a very short building. But you can see that this has been facaded over. Um, with a new level of brick and uh, it's very interesting. Let's um, go check out a couple homes over here real quick. So you got a little bungalow that they've made right here and um, <laughs> They've got an interesting, uh, looks like a facaded structure right here. And you can kind of see, <laughs> it's just, I was not uh, believing that they built this this way with this concrete up top like that. Looks to me like 
they've done some work on this baby. Okay, I'm on Main Street, just down from the courthouse here. I just wanna uh, show you a few buildings here, uh, a few houses actually. I wanna show you uh, this stone house. It looks like it was made out of maybe similar materials as the courthouse. But um, look at that. Isn't that interesting above that door right there? And you got this concrete porch here. And it just does not look original at all. Like this was not original to this building at all. Um, hard to say what we're looking at there as far as the materials. And uh, let's see if we can see anything interesting back there. This looks like they've built it on a new, or they've put a new uh, foundation on this house here. So let's go around the side of it. Because I thought I saw a little mud flood window on this side over here. And uh, then I'm going to take you over to this uh, house right here. It looks a little short to me for what it is. And definitely this house looks uh, very short for what uh, they're doing here. <laughs> but uh, you can see huh, right there. You can see right below this window right here. You can see that there's a window right there sticking out of the ground. You see that? Right below that window. And then also right below this window, you can see another window sticking out of the ground there. Very interesting. Just makes you wonder uh, what we're looking at. Oh, here's one more right here. See it? <laughs> All right, so let's go check out this house over here. This looks like, uh, well, I don't know what kind of house it is. It's kind of hard to say um, what we're looking at here. But it um, looks like got a window right there see that below that window they just got some venting going on there and they got a little ash clean out right here on this stack and they've got a a coal chute right there huh you know, it makes me wonder, like, if this style of home, um, if they were forced to bring the rooms out of the roof um, because they wanted to keep these arches that way and they took maybe some stone off, uh, or brick off the rest of the home. And uh, so what they were left with was these things coming out of the, out of the pitch. I don't know. Um, know what we're looking at right there very interesting beautiful home hey how's it going good just uh is that your house oh yeah thomas that's pretty allen, cool thomas huh? allen designed it or he's the builder he's the builder back in the 1800s ah, okay awesome and so uh what is the basement situation like in it is it tall or is it well, short? Well, it's, it's like five foot. It's like five foot. A little mud, bit bigger mud, than a crawl mud, space. Mud floor or concrete or stone? Stone floor. Well, the floor is dirt and cement. The foundation's stone. Awesome. Hi, you love it? It's all right. Awesome. I'm single. It's way too big for one guy. <laughs> I bought it because it's got a seven car garage. Really? You've got a big old garage on the side? Got five in the back and two in the front. Oh, that's nice. That's uh, way nice, huh? And I collect cars, so it works out oh, really good. Oh, that's perfect. Good. Um, 
in the basement, was there windows there at one time? No. There's never, there's no windows, or there's not one window into the basement. No. There's no, it's just like a crawl, not a crawl space, I guess. Yeah, feet. no, I, I could walk around like this in there. Oh, yeah. So you have to duck <laughs> down, but you're a tall guy. Well, I got the hot water, hey, uh -huh. water heater down there in the furnace, uh -huh. the water softener. And it's stone foundation, basically? Awesome. Yeah, with the dirt coming what, through. What year is it? <laughs> 1863 or Oh my something. gosh, that's one of the oldest houses in the whole state right here. Yeah. That's yeah, it's one of the very first, that's what, you can Google it. It's, yeah, oh yeah. It's got a book. You can go find a book. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I got man. it for a present once. That's cool. So somebody actually wrote a book about your house. Yeah. Wow. It's got a painted ceiling, like Da Vinci. What do you Google again? Thomas Allen Home. Thomas Allen Home. Okay, great. Yeah, a guy laid on his back. Painted scenery in that room right there on the left. Oh, really? So uh, a painter was. He's got his. He's got his name signed on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got flying horses and monsters and <laughs> swan thingies. Oh wow. It's pretty strange. Uh -huh. Wow, what kind of dog is this? This is big. It's a red bone. Wow, I've never seen one before. It's beautiful. Red, red it looks like grows. a big, big red wiener dog. <laughs> where the red fern grows? Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's, he is. That's what he is, right? Red huh? bone. Oh, right on. Hey, I appreciate your time. Have yeah. a good one. Yeah, you too. Uh, so that's the storyline of that house. Wow. 1867, huh? <laughs> so this home is probably close to the same age. This is the type of homes that they were building right off the bat when they walked a thousand miles out here to Utah and started putting these babies up. And I wonder if these little things down here below the windows um, were windows at one time. Just kind of interesting. It has that big huge see anything down the foundation of it but beautiful arches just beautiful uh, eaves Gosh, really well done right behind it you've got this old brick building back here that's um, deteriorating down there you can see huh, interesting so let's go around the other side here And it kind of looks like it might be original porch on there. At least they've redone it uh, nearly perfectly. But uh, not really seeing anything around this building here. Huh. All right, I'll be right back. A company called Abstract abstract masonry restoration and they're supposed uh -huh. to be the very very best awesome brick restoration and this beautiful and, um, home oh my gosh so i'm get under this uh -huh. body. so this is really soft brick oh yeah and it's hey, been so deteriorating yeah how many levels of brick is it is there this is a three course okay so um, they've taken out to the second and some to the third. Wow, and they're going to replace that. And they're going to replace it. Wow, they really know what they're doing. They a lot of people are, don't. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. And so the... the um, How do they test them? They just like test them to see if they're brittle or not? And then they, they just... Actually, come around the corner and you'll see. It's not hard to tell. Uh -huh, okay. Because the brick is just completely Oh failing. yeah. Oh yeah. So come look over here. Uh-huh. Come in here, you can see. Oh yeah. Uh, like right here they've done some Watch oh, yeah. if you touch it. Oh yeah, it's almost like mud brick, but it's yeah. not originally, yeah. is it? So ah. so it's completely can wow. you see in there it's yeah. just completely failing. It's very soft. Oh that is so awesome that what you're doing and it looks like at some point somebody put like a bigger foundation around it to strengthen yeah. it. I, we don't know when that happens, mm -hmm. but um, it, you can see there's a beautiful stacked stone uh -huh. that they've put this around. This so, is all. 
So are you finding, have you had to replace any of the third level or are they trying, are they, is that Not the most, yet. is that the best brick basically? They just like? started yesterday. Oh yeah? Really? Yeah. Ah, that is so fascinating. So. These are beautiful. Yeah. So these are pretty, pretty I just good. love the old brick. The oh, new brick amazing. is nothing like no. what they were doing back then, you yeah. know? This, these are soft in a sense, you know, yeah. to the touch and everything. They're not. So, feel so, that. See that? It's meant to be soft like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wow. And look, it kind of, well, I guess they brought this up around the brick. And is that brick down in there? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I didn't know how high the mm -hmm. brick came up. I. Interesting. Can you see back there? That's the stacked stone foundation. In the oh bottom. yeah, I see. Yeah, so there is stone down there, and they yeah, they put the this front. around the stone apparently, right? Yeah. 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 Ah, I really appreciate you being so kind oh, to do this. I mean, sure. like you know, I, I promise you, I'm not going to be causing any problems no, or anything no, like that's, that's not my point. Um, this is the interesting thing is so this is the you probably know all about this, but these right here. Uh huh. So you've got a full brick here and then a half brick here. Yeah, they tie them in kind of like Legos. They tie them like, in, yeah. Right. So, so they just become stronger. Yeah. So this so, has three courses. Yeah, three courses. Ha, 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 ha. So wow. We just want to do everything as yeah, that's close so great. to original as we can. Well, um, do you have any ideas? Is it? I, I imagine it's pretty costly to do what you're doing. Um, it's. To me, I don't think it seems that bad. Okay, great. I think they seem very reasonable for what they're uh -huh. doing. And they'll come around this side. Um, yeah. Now that, that inner brick seems like really good condition. This right here? The very inner brick. Oh, the, the third, third level? The third row, yeah. I mean, at least this one right here seems like basically, I mean, I guess it's getting the less, the less least amount of moisture. everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah now look how much Interesting. Wow. Yeah. It feels creepy to even put my hand in. Does it? Yeah. What would be creepy is if something grabbed it. I mean, so right? then, uh, what, <laughs> what, tell me more about the rest of the house. Um, let's see. So, this house. There was never any arches on this house that you're aware of. They were always the squared off windows. Well, there are arches on this. There are arches. Yeah, okay. There are arches. Um, okay. This home was built originally, I think, in 1860. Don't get that on. Whoa! Here. This is one of the oldest homes in the whole state. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. 1860. Yeah, 1860. This oh my section gosh. was built in 1860. Wow. And, 1860. And it goes all the way from the front to the back. And then, as he earned, you know, became more affluent, then he built the second story. Okay. And then there's one more addition, which is the third, the kitchen. So, so let's, is there is there a difference between the second story and the first story as yeah. far as the color of brick and yeah, stuff? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Oh. So that's. Yeah. So. You, and they've done some something here. Yeah. Before. When, my parents bought this house. Kind of like 17 in, years right? ago, <laughs> yeah, and it was covered with a big, huge plaster patch. Ah. So my mom just colored it in to make it. Got it. Got it. That's smart. I gotta get in the tent. Wow. So then, is this older than? Is this a newer addition over here? Or? Yeah. So this is like front to back. This dark orange is the original structure. So that is th this is original back uh, here. No, no this that's is the new. Second story. Okay, so that's so. that's newer. And they say this is the third addition, which is the kitchen. Okay. So, and then this is a built-in porch uh -huh. in the back. So this is the third edition right here. Yeah. Ah, how, how big is the house? Um, pretty big. <laughs> I'd say. It's a big house. It's I, I think it's about, I'm not quite sure, but I think it's about 3,200. Oh, wow. There's wow. like a third floor. That's pretty dang big for back then, for sure. Yeah. It's wow. cool because there's an attic room that takes up the whole uh -huh. third floor. You can't see it, but there's skylights up here. Oh. And oh, yeah, you can see it there. big. What is the situation with the basement cellar? Um, it's cool. It's all stacked stone. You get into it from the inside? Yeah. 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 Awesome. And it's all stone. It's a stone foundation awesome. down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and how how uh, how many square feet is that area? Do you I don't think? Even know. Okay. But you can see steps over here. All right. <laughs> this weather is what we need, but I know. I know. An answer to prayer. 
I actually just came up here just to kind of see these old houses. So look at this beautiful stack stone. So oh, yeah. last year there was a sewer problem. We got a new sewer line. Uh-huh. You should come up when it's not. Yeah, well, it was just, you know, you just never know what you're going to get, right? I, know. I mean, but, uh, wow. So I really like this stone along the, you know. The capstone? Yeah, it's yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that's great. Ah, amazing. So I'm going to have all the, keep all the original windows and restore them. So uh-huh. And so the basement, so there's no windows around, there's no basement windows on this house. Yeah, never were, never were. Huh. Ah, amazing. Well, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time. had a lot of time to do uh, quality work back in the day Amazing. you know so this doesn't look like much but this was in really bad shape but feel how stabilized that oh, is oh yeah now. that's great oh yeah oh it's beautiful work it's just hard to believe what they could do with what little they had Isn't right that stunning? <laughs> and these are interesting you know like this stone right here mm -hmm. is a little different than those two stones yeah you know and so is these ones in here, is it you know interesting? Is is there a basement inside there, or um, I mean, is that where the there's a cellar? Is this part of the original part or no? Well, I'll show you. So you you'll be up until here. Okay. So watch out. We have a tree stuff. Okay. All right. That's the original part right there on the left. Yeah, from front ah. to back. And they built this. Uh -huh. And that was all built in the last one. Ah, are you going to make this door with a railing above there then? Yeah, we're working with some designers right now. I'm going up some wood. Are you going to leave the brick? Are you going to leave it? No, we'll leave it. Oh, that's great. That's, I mean, you know, I don't really, you know, it's none of my business, but I really love, yeah. I love the look of the old brick. It's just we, beautiful, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, we would definitely. Yeah, oh, that is so great. Oh, it's gonna look so beautiful when you get it painted finally. Yeah. And then, uh, but, uh, 1960 on this area 1960 right here. On this bottom. There are then, very few buildings in this whole state that old. I, know. I mean, probably a couple of handfuls at most, right? Yeah. <laughs> when we get closer to having it, you know, restored on the inside, you'll have to come and see. Okay. It is, you know, well, I'll definitely keep an eye out for yeah, it. Do. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we're in Colville, Utah, and just in a little residential area here, checking out this old house. It looks like a brick house that's been basically stuccoed over. And you can see that blocked in window down there. And uh, just beautiful house, it has the old window on top of the door with these beautiful keystone uh, headers, I guess. Really pretty. Has a concrete foundation in front of it. And uh, let's just see if we can see anything down the side here. Well, you can see that they have a new foundation on this house. And they've got that vent right there venting the basement. So, very interesting. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so this is Main Street out here. And we're just gonna take you around Main Street now. But I wanted to show you these funky little apartments down here. But look at the back of this Main Street building right here. You see those arches that have been blocked in in there? And so this is the original structure right here. And you can see they put a shack on the back here. So let's, uh, let's go take a look at this. This is uh, another old brick building that they've stuccoed in right here. This has just been lightly stuccoed over. And they've got a shack on the back right here as well, you can see. And uh, 
you can see this facade brick. Anytime you see this brick with the lines like that, you know that you're looking at a facade. It's specifically made to kind of trick the average person's eyes into believing that uh, this is the way that this was built. See some cracking down in here. It's interesting. You're gonna love some of this back here. So we're gonna save that for last. But uh, I wanted to show you the side of this building right here. And uh, it's just awesome. So see they painted a thick paint over this. And it's like a sandstone red brick. And you can see that they've tied this facade into this old brick here. And uh, just awesome. And I don't know if we're gonna see anything down in here. Got a bunch of bushes and stuff. So there's this one building right here on Main Street, really awesome. And so uh, you've got another Zions Bank right here on the corner of I believe Center Street and Main Street right here. And no question, this used to be a brick building. And look what they've done to it. They just sided over it all just to hide anything. And uh, so let's go across the street, start checking these out. And uh, you can see uh, where we started back here with the, uh, the antenna sticking off of the old courthouse back there behind the trees. So we're just down Main Street from there. And got an old, beautiful brick building here that looks like they probably added a layer of brick around what maybe they found, knocked out the arches, and put all of these headers in to make it look more modern. But you can see the foundation on this is uh, new. You can see the stone behind this concrete that uh, there used to be a, a stone foundation around that. And uh, they've blocked in this window right here. Just interesting. And uh, you can see that they've tied this in. So this also looks like a newer brick back here that's been tied into a brick that might not be the original. And let's just see if we see anything back here. This all appears to be new. And uh, you've got right down there, you see, you see where the um, floor joists were for another building. So it looks to be like there used to be a basement down in this area that they filled in with dirt. But those right there, um, were to hold the, you know, the, the, the second floor or I guess the main floor now. And, uh, see if I can get you a view of this side of this building at all. And, uh, all right, so let's go around real quick. You do have a funny looking old house right here. That's been sided with a really thin siding. I believe that this is an old brick house right here. No question. Just the way that it's been sided with this really thin siding. And you got these big tall windows and you got the short stubby door there that should have a window above the door. So just really interesting. And uh, this house right here is right next to this beautiful house that we were, that the owner of uh, was so nice to give us a tour around. So let's go back over here. So uh, let's take a look inside here, see if we see anything. Looks like they turned it into like a little ice cream shop, but I'm not really seeing any entrance to the basement, but you can see that there's a basement because there's a wood floor. And you've got some stairs that are going up to the upper level. And you can see down here, hard to see what we're looking at, but there are some windows up there. And this looks like a, 
I don't know what we're looking at here, if this is old or new. This is definitely a facade over a older building right here. And you can see the truly old yellow brick uh, that it's been tied into. So it's just a facade. Got your pebble mix concrete foundation. So we know that's not original to the building. So probably what they did is they laid that concrete around the pre-existing building and then they stacked this brick up all around the building and uh, made it into what we're looking at now. But you can kind of see some portholes up there. Maybe they traced those. It's just beautiful. And interesting, so you've got a little catwalk stairs um, that goes down to the, the bottom level there. You see that? Just pretty awesome. And they got an old building here. And this is an old grocery store. One of the oldest grocery stores in Utah. Summit Merck. <laughs> and uh, just a gorgeous old building. And then uh, got a little something on the side here. I guess it's a little flower shop. Really pretty, you step up to get to that level. Kind of interesting, you're down here on this level, you step up to get to this level. Um, it is a little lower than the rest of the building there, but it looks like it's built out of that old um, yellow brick. So, really awesome. And then boom, look what we have here. Let's first look at the front of this. Look at this old building, they've painted this brick red. It looks like, but just look how pretty that is and this is all concrete right here this is all new so what were they hiding behind this concrete is the question and i think you know the the, the brick that we're looking at might not be the original brick it's got some beautiful um uh, headers here and uh, it's beautiful. And then this old building right here, it's got these arches in the side over here. So just, just amazing. I wonder what these little indents are right here. I don't know how high the, the floor goes in this building, but it is beautiful. Makes you wonder if those were, um, maybe a window down there at one point, but look at this side, we'll come around. So, it's got a old McDonald's ad on it. Well, let's see, Real Garden Chocolates, McDon McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. <laughs> and uh, interesting, so they've got this facade concrete foundation over this. And uh, you can see that they're hiding brick behind that. And uh, they put that in there to strengthen the building. But it looks like that brick goes straight into the ground originally. And they've just put this false foundation over it. This is obviously all new, this stack here. Kind of strange little thing going on here. But this is exactly what we're talking about right here. We see this all the time, this fake foundation going over brick. And were there windows down in here? I believe there absolutely were at one time. And that's the whole point of this. Block it in and, and uh, you can see behind these garbage cans. It's just beautiful. You got an entrance right here going down into the basement. But look what you have right in here. You have that beautiful yellow brick that was likely once red, the original brick. In fact, the whole back of this looks like it's the original brick. And look how old it is. Just gorgeous. So they have stairs going down right there. And they have some type of patch that they put in on this side. Interesting. But that's just the original old brick right there. And were these windows originally arched? Um, Really hard to say, but I believe they were. Look, they blocked that window in right there. 
and they've put new brick along the top. So they've made the top look that way. This is the, the grocery store right here. And uh, just gorgeous. And you can see that they have a set of stairs going down to the basement in the new foundation. And just look how thick that foundation goes in there. It goes in there quite a ways. And they have some interesting concrete work along the bottom here. It's really interesting. So let's go back down through this alley right here. So we've got this huge, thick, heavy duty uh, fake foundation down this side. Got a little J pipe coming into the ground right here for a sewer, it looks like. Look at what is happening to this building and look at this original brick right here. Just gorgeous. You can see it's red on the inside, yellow on the outside. Funny looking door that's been patched in right there. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. So here's the front again. It's got that window that swings open there above the door. So I'm gonna take you over here real quick. This looks like it might be a new hotel, but it very well could be a facade that's put around a pre-existing building because those do go in there quite a bit. It is pretty deep. And uh, got stucco down the side, kind of a funny looking false foundation. I don't know what this uh, building is. And uh, look at this beautiful building. And you can kind of see down between these two buildings right here. Pretty awesome. Looks like it's been made into a pizzeria. Yeah, just gorgeous. <laughs> and uh, so they've got a no trespassing sign here. So they don't want anybody in the back. So we'll see if we can get a vantage point of the back here in a second. And uh, this building next to it's been sited. I don't know if it's old or not. Hard to say. Oh. And uh, it looks like it's been made into an auto mechanic type place. Let's take a look at this building across the street. Kind of hard to say what we're looking at here. Um, kind of interesting thing right there in the ground. Like, it's got a door above the window. It looks like it was a window made, a door made into a window. I mean, a window made into a door right there. Just interesting. And uh, let's see. So these big windows, windows going all the way down the back of it. And you've got your new foundation all along in there, the pebble mix concrete. I wonder if these were arch windows at one time. It's sitting right next to this house right here with a, uh, it's a block manufactured block home with a blocked in upper window and right below it, a little stubby window. It does have a shack on the back. Very interesting. And, uh, Let's see if we can see behind there and see if we see anything um, on that building. So, it looks like they're squared off windows at this point. So, pretty interesting. All right, I'll be right back. All right, just came across the street. Just want to show you one more thing here. So you've got this Main Street building across the street. And we actually were right over here starting on the last take. But just notice this, that they've sided over this building. They put a new brick around the front of it. And you can see the old yellow brick below the siding right here. And they've put some wood on it and then fastened the, the siding to it right there. And there's a big, beautiful dog inside here. 
All right, well, I think that about wraps up Colville. Thanks for watching.